fair men and one law for all have called a global day of action today, November 8th, in support of our Hudaryoi. Where is she? We demand that she be freed now and we stand with her. She was arrested violently for stripping on her university campus in Tehran in opposition to the harassment by the morality security forces. They say she is mad and they have sectioned her in a psychiatric ward. There is nothing mad about a scream against misogyny. The women who rebel, they are always labeled mad by the regime in Iran and also historically. It is regime, it is its laws, it is Sharia, it is Islam, it is misogyny, it is patriarchy that is mad, not Ahudayoi. Why nude protest? Because nudity is the antithesis of veiling. It is a subversion of the ideal woman who is obedient, silent, submissive, erased from the public space. They call all unveiled women naked. This is nudity. This is nakedness. We will show you what nakedness is. The insistence to erase women's bodies means that it is an important form of women's public resistance. So they ask, you want everyone to be naked? Maybe you don't understand my body, my choice. Maybe you don't understand how rights work. If you fight for the right to abortion, if you fight for gay rights, it doesn't mean you have to have an abortion and you have to be gay. When you have this rage and anger against nudity, it brings out all of the deep-seated hatred against women and their bodies. Because it, they hate women's bodies in her own hands, outside what is socially acceptable limits of being either a virgin or a whore. And still you have so many who are opposed to the Islamic regime of Iran, but they say nudity is obscenity. Nudity is deviance. That's why the, the slogan in the Woman Life Freedom Revolution saying, you are the deviant, I am the free woman is so key. Ahudayoi's <laughs> protest is the crux of what Woman Life Freedom is. It's not just about our hair. The hair is part and parcel of our body. It says women's bodies are not shameful. We are not obscene. Shame is not between our legs and on our breasts. As Giselle Pellicott said in France, shame must change sides. The Islamic regime of Iran, the misogynists, the patriarchs, they should be ashamed. Not women, not their bodies. The problem is not our bodies. It is your deep-seated misogyny and hatred of women. Nude protest makes women's bodies visible. It redefines who controls her body. It is not man, nation, prosperity. Not more man who is lord and master. It is woman life freedom. It is the crux of the women's revolution in Iran. We are reclaiming the battlefield for suppression to a battlefield for liberation. Not just the liberation of women's bodies, but the liberation of society and the world. This is a reimagining of another world. Not man nation prosperity, but woman life freedom. 